Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Princess Evangel W Happiness. Since the finale of Common Route guys, we are able to do the another stories for Ruriko, Konomi, Mitsuki, Tommy, and Marika. And so here we go. One morning Ruriko suddenly awakens to find Panterbell whom always sleeps with her is missing. This continues for several days, leaving her extremely worried where could Ponderbell be running off to. Ruriko asks for Masaya's advice and together they decide to follow her furry friends to find out exactly where he was going. Okay. So apparently those previously stuff... Uh, I have no idea what... what I, okay. Anyways, Rico. Chapter 1 Oh, like a panther battle. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Oh, look at her. So kawaii. Oh, <gasps> that's what they mean. Was she here? Is, is he here? Is he not here? What's going on? Oh, uh, okay. I was like, ah. Uh. Oh, that, that was just one day? <laughs> it made it a habit of holding Pantaberu close to her heart as she slept. Despite how muggy the summer months had been, she felt so secure when holding Pantaberu's soft, fluffy body. However, Pantabedru was nowhere to be found. As if greeting her, Pantabedru bounced up on his hind legs, then slipped under the blankets. She was so relieved to see him, she hugged him tightly to her chest. The feel of Pantabedru's warm body pressed against her ample bosom was soothing. Ah. I wonder if he's building something for her, or making something. Yeah. And once we made it through Premier Judgment safely, I felt so relieved that my appetite kicked into overdrive. What? The first round that that Mas Masaya must pass. If he does not win majority support at this vote, he will have to leave Vonson at the end of first term. Oh. Well, seems like he made it through. Okay. あたしとしても花が高いというものよ。ああ。あ、千穂さんとルリコさんだわ。私たちも行きましょうよ。ウェイバトウェイレディーティング。ワイオンディジョナス。シュア。グラブデュアトレイズエンドストゥアトフォー
forgot their outfits were like that. Huh. Why did Ruriko look so worried for a second? Oh, it's just about Pantabaru, huh? Oh. Pantabaru got up on his hind legs to greet us. He really was quite clever. We took our seats and Chio turned to face Ruriko san. Is the summer heat getting to you? Risa san looked down at Ruriko's lunch. Hmm, you are? That's kind of unexpected. Well, uh, how should I put it? Rugo san wasn't fat by any stretch of the imagination. Such a fact was so true, I'd swear by it. However, it was also true that she had one area on her body which bulged out exceptionally so. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Yep, yep, exceptionally so. Rather than hot, it looks excruciating. Uh, no, nothing. Oh, where'd she go? Huh? Uh, I mean, uh, I was just thinking, the meatballs in the Chinese soup Rico sent order lo sure look tasty. I like how he said meatballs, because uh, that could refer to uh, a lot of stuff for, uh, to Ruriko. Oh, can I? Hi. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Her mannerism seems so natural. I went along with it without thinking. Munch. Delicious. Your turn? Ack! You shoved the spoon into my mouth. Ow, ow, not, not the fork, please! Oh no! Ah, oh, hi, Mihan! Ah, uh, uh, Tommy san! I, I did? Uh, with Tommy San's proclamation, I was finally liberated from the foreign objects inside my mouth.
Ah, yeah, what has been bothering you? We'll find out in the next episode of Princess Evangel W Happiness. Oh, let's find out what is gonna be with this story. I hope it will be enjoy to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys didn't, please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!